uh, all in Africa, there is, um, you know, women are being mutilated so that they don't feel pleasure. There is rape. In the U.S. only, you have 25% of people who have been sexually abused in their childhood by parents, by relatives. It's a freaking nightmare. We have to do something about it. And this is what this vital sex idea is about. It is about creating patterns of sexual activation that really work on the long term. And you might say, well, how do we get there? Well, the transformation happens inside of us. This is the place where we want to be aligned. And how do we align that? Is by understanding, you know, feeling when we are locking ourselves up in shame, in guilt, in traumas, in all that. A good friend of mine who is into Tantra and has been teaching Tantra for 25 years, we were having this discussion and uh, she was sharing with me the fact that when she got into Tantra, she thought it would all be about pleasure, all about giving people better orgasms, all about extending this orgasmic wave. And what she realized after a few years of practice is that it was all about healing, healing the traumas, healing the pain, getting women and men to get simply comfortable with physical touch, with intimacy. So this is where we are at. On the planetary level, humankind is heavily traumatized. If right now I ask you to remove your clothes and just be naked in front of each other and start pleasuring each other, <laughs> you know, you would go like, well, I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with that. <laughs> well, guess what? Maybe 100 years, 100,000 years ago, that's what we were doing. We were all very sexual free. Everything was, was just out there in the open. Then we started locking ourselves in. And the reason why it happened, I mean, I was not there, I cannot tell. <laughs> You know exactly what uh, Ross was saying earlier, but I have a theory about it. And uh, what comes to mind is really the fact that it was getting a bit of a mess. You know, lots of children being born in uh, environments that were not secured, no, no family nucleus. And uh, so I have the feeling that at that point, nature, society started designing patterns to limit a little bit sexual activity, to direct it. You know, somebody came up with the idea of the Ten Commands, and it says, well, you shall not commit adultery. Why? What's the purpose? Because it was creating too much conflicting situations. It was becoming unsafe for the children who were being born, and so on. So at one point, all these patterns that were created in society by human beings like us, they were justified. They were there to keep us on track as a human race and make sure that we were not spending all of our time having sex. Because sex was fun. <laughs> and it is still fun. So we have these patterns being designed, right? Patterns like shame and guilt, like boundaries. They were not shame and guilt in the beginning. They were just mindsets, frames. Mm -hmm 